Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Razer Kraken X V3. Now, before we jump into it, there is a quick unboxing video. Here is how the headphones look right out of the box. As you can see, they have uh, the standard Razer design, looking pretty sleek. I like the design overall. They're also pretty lightweight. The Razer logo on the top, the RGB lights on the sides, which of course can be paired with uh, the other products from Razer. There is the mute button and also the volume control function there. The ear cuffs are soft, they are from memory foam and there's also uh, some sort of foam on the headband but that's not one of the most comfortable ones in my opinion. Still it does the job and I like how they feel. As I mentioned previously, the headphones are super lightweight. You can easily adjust them as any regular headphones but when you put them on for the first time they don't feel like a perfect fit. That is understandable since the headphones are around 60 to 70 dollars, depending on where you buy them from. But that's not necessarily a problem for me, especially since they have uh, wonderful sound quality with their 40mm drivers and deep bass. There are some pretty cool stickers coming inside of the box and you can also register the headphones on the official Razer website to unlock the 7.1 surround sound feature. And there's one thing I don't like about these headphones and that's the fact that the cable is actually not braided. It's not one of the cheapest plastics for a cable so it would surely hold but I just like braided cables overall. So let's now proceed with a short microphone test and of course I want to show you the Razer Kraken X software. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's proceed with the microphone test and also the showcase of uh, the Razer program. For a wired headset, I'd say that the microphone is of great quality, but of course it's Razer and I'm expecting nothing less from Razer. Even though this is a budget headset, as you can see, the microphone quality is quite nice. So, going to the, to the program, there are plenty of options here. It's Chroma Connect, Chroma Studio, uh, there's um, your modules here, which the stuff that I'm not gonna go into, I just want to show it to you so that you know what you're getting into. Uh, by the way, at the moment I plugged the headset inside of my computer, the program started downloading automatically, which is a really nice feature, because most of them don't have that, you have to go to a website and uh, search for it uh, for a couple of minutes. So, from here on, you go to the audio tab, of course you can control the audio here, but I usually prefer to go to the sound control panel where I can adjust uh, more things. There's also the lightning tab here and if you want to really take it to the next level, there is also the studio. So from the studio here you can of course select many different light effects and they're gonna be displayed right here. The software is really cool. I really love this software. It's made uh, so simple, yet it has so many functions inside of it. But tell me what do you think, guys? So there you have it, guys. The Razer Kraken X, another great pair of headphones. If, especially if you're on a budget. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you dislike it, of course, you can also dislike the video. Comment down below on how I can improve. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.